Hi, I'm Coach Schoberg and I am back teaching you how to solve 2021 Math Counts National Sprint Problem number 27. This is a picture from that national competition as you can see due to COVID. We were competing virtually. It's a tradition of mine to go over the most commonly missed question each year at nationals. And this year, there were several really tough questions, but this particular problem, number 27, went completely unsolved. So here's that question. Suppose that m and n are real numbers such that the graphs of y equals m times the quantity x minus 12, y equals 10 minus x over m, y equals n times the quantity x minus 6, and y equals negative 4 minus x over n all intersect at a single point, and we'll call that point a, b. What is the value of a plus b? Express your answer as a common fraction. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've probably already given this question a good try, but if not, you should definitely try to solve it on your own prior to watching the solution. All right, the first thing you're going to want to notice about this problem is that there are pairs of perpendicular lines. If you check out, the first one has a slope of m and the second one negative 1 over m, so those are opposite reciprocals. The third equation has a slope of n and the fourth of negative 1 over n, so those are also opposite reciprocals. And then second, we can look for the x and y intercepts. To find the y intercept, we can just substitute x equals 0, and to find the x intercept, we can substitute y equals 0. So here in the first equation we can get 12 0. The second one will go through the ordered pair 0 10. The third through the pair 6 0 and the last through the pair 0 negative 4. This image and most of the solution strategy is courtesy of Aaron. So we are going to call O the point where these lines intersect. And notice that because they're perpendicular AOB that angle will be 90 degrees. Therefore, we can view this as AB is the diameter of a circle and O is any point along that circle. With that in mind, these first two lines must intersect somewhere along this circle. So this circle with that diameter that goes through 12, 0 and 0, 0, 10 is going to have a center at 6, 5, the midpoint of that diameter. It's going to have a radius of square root 61, which you can find using the Pythagorean theorem to get from the center to the edge. With a similar strategy, the second two lines must intersect somewhere along this black circle, where we have a center at 3, negative 2, and the radius is square root of 13. So if we have all four lines, they have to intersect at one of these two points where both circles intersect, right here at 0, 0. However, if 0, 0 were that intersection point, some of the slopes would be undefined, like when it went from uh, 0, 10 to 0, 0. And because m and n are real numbers, we have to use this other intersection point right here. Okay? And how can we find that intersection point? To find this intersection point, we can connect the centers of the circles and then draw a perpendicular line to this one through the origin. And finally, we can reflect the ordered pair 0, 0 across that center line to find the other point of intersection. So we want to use some algebra and find the equations of the lines. So the line connecting the center has a slope 7 thirds and can be written as y equals 7 thirds x minus 9. To go perpendicular through the origin, the slope needs to be the opposite reciprocal, so y equals negative 3 sevenths x. We can set these two equations equal to find their intersection points. Now I'm assuming if you're watching this video you have algebra knowledge and can solve this equation, so I'm not going to show you those steps, but when you solve it you're going to get that x equals 189 fifty-eighths. And since y equals negative 3 sevenths x, you can multiply that by negative 3 sevenths to get that y equals negative 81 fifty-eighths. Okay. That's that purple point where those lines intersect. But now we're trying to find that yellow point and answer those questions. So we can double those coordinates to find the other point of intersection just because it's a consistent slope and it's the same distance going from the origin to that intersection point as it is from the intersection point to the other place where the two circles intersect. So if we double those coordinates, 
and then find the sum, we will have answered our question. So doubling the coordinates, we get 189 over 29 for the x or the a coordinate, and negative 81 29 for the y or the b coordinate. Simply add them together, and we can get 108 over 29, which is their final answer to this problem. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Coach Schoberg. You can find some other videos from previous years on my YouTube channel, Schoberg Math.